I want to discuss labeling as it relates to mentally ill people. Okay. Um, because I have heard, well, I talked to a psychologist and I asked her, what is wrong with me? She said, I don't like to get into labels. Um, and I talked to somebody else who said, um, do you think labels do any good? I think labels do some good. Okay. Because for many years, I was doing all kinds of weird things and often offensive things. People were offended by, by my um, talk, by my action. Um, for example, I would talk out of turn. I would talk too much. I would talk about inappropriate matters. Um, my Aunt Veda, who was um, used to sew clothing for me, was offended when I took a, a dress that she had made and I put it, um, she said she dropped it just like it was a piece of trash. Okay. I'd only worn it once and I should have hung it up, but I didn't. I put it in the laundry. And the reason for that was prior to this, my mom had gotten on to me about wearing the same thing over and over again until it smelled bad. Okay. And there was no way for me to remember from one day to another what outfit I'd worn. So I got into the habit of just be, be on the safe side, always putting everything in the laundry as soon as I wore it once. Okay, now I was in a class one time and I started having seizure disorder during the class. And I didn't actually, I was able with a superhuman effort to keep the noise inside, but I couldn't help my face changing um, expression, which was, you know, you know, constantly changing expression because I was in a seizure, an internal seizure. The teacher asked what is, told me it's distracting and asked me what was wrong. I didn't know what to say because nobody had diagnosed me. I told her it was schizophrenia. I knew that was wrong, but I had to say something. Okay. I'll also, when I would tell people I have emotional problems, they'd say we all do. Okay. When I tell people I have schizotypal personality disorder or impulse control disorder, nobody says we all do because we all don't. These are um, disorders that a small minority of the population has. I mean, 1% or 2% or 3% might have schizotypal and about the same might have impulse control disorder. But when you say I have impulse control disorder, I have schizotypal personality disorder, you've said something. You've tried to explain the puzzle, the puzzle that is me. I puzzle everybody. And, you know, I needed, I needed a label. I, when I read, when I read schizotypal personality disorder with obsessive and compulsive features, I literally breathed a sigh of relief because now I had insight into who, it, into the puzzle that is me. I had, um, a friend of mine look up schizotypal personality disorder. He said it fits because he has seen people who are around me see things that are very strange, very puzzling, very baffling, and sometimes quite offensive. And I do think that it also helps me out in the sense that um, I think people are going to be a lot more sympathetic, a lot more understanding if they know that behavior that would be offensive in a normal person is actually caused by a disability, by a handicap. Okay. So I believe that I benefit from having the diagnosis and the other people around me benefit from knowing about the diagnosis. And I hope you liked what you heard and will subscribe to my channel.